Well, you know, the the reason that the the market update is so relevant and so meaningful is it it's it identifies the crease in the market. We anybody can read the headlines and figure out that residential real estate's on fire. I okay. mean, we 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 try to grab good data because you know, it's it's relevant. It's relevant in our conversations, right? It's relevant when you're looking and talking to somebody or you're not surprised in the market. So anybody can read the headlines and figure out things are good. That means, Brian, that if I own a piece of property and I wanted to sell or finance it, I could sell it for a premium price, right? Yes. And I could sell it to somebody uh, that has super high good credit, right? The best pool of buyers and the best opportunity to sell my property with seller financing now than there's been in, see, that wasn't true. In t and there might, there was a lack of financing in 2010, but there was also a, a, an instability in the market. Now right. we've got a hot real estate market where we can sell it and we got, but we've got a credit crunch, weird combination, right? We've got a credit crunch. And that means that I know that I could use seller financing to sell my property for a premium. On the other side, yes, housing's on fire and real estate investors are having to reinvent themselves. Yeah. And, you know, I've I, just this, just this week, guys, you know, you were talking about lumber. And so my dad and my son are doing a, a rehab right now. Part of the roof is a flat roof, right? So number one, you know, that piece of that two by four that or not two by four piece of plywood that was $22 last year is now $82. And they've had three people out look at it. And it's four months out, even in a little town like I live in of 4,500 people, four months out trying to get a rehab done. Talked to a burnout landlord the other day and he said, well, yeah, I'd love to sell you my place. And I said, well, I prob I'm not going to be able to make that first payment to you until until I get those folks out. And he thought about it. Well, that's OK. Right. That's OK, because at least I have an end. I don't have to get them out myself. I don't have to deal with them. You know, so, guys, it's 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 time. It's time. Yeah. And, and what's interesting is I think so many times when the market shifts, it presents you with half of the puzzle and you got to solve the other part of the puzzle. And in this instance, what Eddie just showed shared with us, just if you really are looking for the, 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 the magic and what he's saying is there's not only an opportunity to buy assets right now, which is, hey, that's part of the puzzle. Right. But there's also a huge opportunity for who you can sell them to. You, you have giant pools of both. Right. That you literally just have to gain that knowledge, go out, be willing to help people and put them together and you can start growing your business. Yeah. And, you know, guys, I spoke with uh, with Lois and Th Cynthia yesterday, a couple of our students, and they uh, they had a, a property that they listed on Facebook Marketplace, not a property. They're in Houston. They had 160 inquiries within 24 hours on the property they had listed on. That's uh, it. Only okay. 160? You should, are you Only missing zero? 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's absolutely mind boggling. <laughs>